So we have five types of ratios. We will use ratio analysis to evaluate project proposal for credit for approving loan proposal. The first one is liquidity. Liquidity ratios. Here we will use two ratios. One is known as current ratio and another one is quick ratio. Uh, current ratio shows the relationship between current assets and current liabilities. So if you have a current asset of Taka 5 crore and you have a current liabilities of Taka uh, 2 crore, then we can say that you have uh, more current assets than current liabilities. It means you have enough current assets to pay current liabilities. Suppose you have one crore current assets and current liabilities of Taka 1 crore, both are same. Uh, it means not that your liquidity position is good because uh, you need all your current assets to pay current liabilities. If you have one crore current assets but current liabilities is two crores, it means you have more current liabilities than current assets. It means your liquidity position is very poor. You can't pay current liabilities using your current assets. So uh, uh, there is no unique standard. But one common practice is that uh, current asset to current liabilities uh, should be twist to one. Uh, and it's a common practice. But remember, this common practice is not uh, good for all industry. So what we will do, we have separate uh, a standard for different industry. If it is garments, then one. If it is textile, another. If it is cement, another. If it is pharmaceutical, another standard. If it is bank, then another standard. There is no unique standard, no guideline. So how can we know that what should be the right standard? So if we uh, uh, calculate ratios for garments, then we can take the support of BGMEA. Uh, we can collect the standard from them, or uh, we can take uh, top garment in the companies uh, ratios as a standard. Uh, if it is cement, that case is also uh, we can uh, take support from uh, FBCCI, uh, what is standard they prescribe. If they don't have any standard, then we can uh, use uh, top companies uh, ratio as our standard. So you see that the standards are not unique, not given all the time, but it's up to you. Uh, or you can make an average of four or five top companies uh, uh, ratios. That average will be the standard. Remember, a standard varies country to country, standard varies industry to industry. You can't say your standard is fantastic. You can apply for all organizations, no. Though we have one ratio, current ratio, why we need another ratio? Because we know that there are various elements or components of current assets. Among these, inventory is also an element of current assets. But we know that it is not easier to convert inventory to cash within shorter period. If you have inventory, if you want to convert inventory to cash, you need to sell it. If you don't have available buyer, even selling is difficult. If you have available buyer, still you need some time to sell your inventory. That's where we want to know or evaluate liquidity position of a company by deducting inventories from current assets. So the formula is current assets minus inventories divided by current liabilities. This is known as quick ratio or acid test ratio. The common practice is one is to one is good. That is current asset minus inventories means quick asset. So quick asset divided by current liabilities. If your result is one is to one, uh, that is a common practice that it's a good one. Uh, but remember again, that these are not unique, universal standard. It varies organization to organization. Uh, it varies industry to industry. It varies uh, country to country. The second one is, suppose you have already evaluated, you know that whether uh, the borrower liquidity position is good or bad but still you can't decide 
whether you will accept their loan proposal or not as a credit manager. So what you have to do, you have to evaluate more issues. You have to evaluate more elements of in annual reports or financial statements. Among these, the second one is asset management ratios or known as activity ratios or efficiency ratios. These ratios present the capabilities of the borrower regarding asset management means whether the company, the borrower capable enough to manage their asset or not. The first ratio is inventory turnover. Cost of goods sold divided by inventories. It means we want to know how many times cost of goods sold is compared to inventories. If a company's inventory is taka two crore and its cost of goods sold is taka 10 crore, it means all the year cost of goods sold is five times to inventory. Another company, if we see that they have regular inventory of taka two crore, but they have a sale cost of goods sold of taka 100 crore, it means it's 50 times higher than inventory. Obviously, second company's inventory turnover shows better asset management performance. So through this ratio, we can say that the first company is using their inventory, but not as much, uh, 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 not as uh, uh, up to the mark. But the second company is doing better because they are using their inventory as much possible. So inventory is two crore, but they have a, a cost of goods sold of 100 crore. It means they have already used their inventory for 50 times. The second one is their sales outstanding. We know the company has two kinds of sale. One is cash sale, another one is credit sale. So when there is credit sale, we will have always receivable. Their sales outstanding will give a fantastic result. What result? Through this ratio, we can calculate how many days will it require to get cash from receivables. So when a company has credit sales, their sales outstanding will give you the result that how many days the company require to convert their receivables to cash. It's a very good ratio. You can find out the dates. So if you find that company X require 30 days to convert its receivables to cash, and another company, company Y requires 40 days to convert its receivables to cash. So we can say first company's asset management is better than second company because first company can convert their receivables to cash in 30 days and the second company require 40 days. There are many other companies whose asset management is not good. So they, uh, they require even 100 days, 300, 400, 600 days they require. These kind of companies are not good. So we can't uh, accept this kind of their sales outstanding. We can say uh, their asset management is not good. Besides these, you can use so many other asset management ratios. And what are these? You can use fixed asset turnover ratio. So you can find out a relationship between sales and fixed asset. Uh, uh, sales is what percent of your fixed asset. Uh, you can also calculate total asset turnover. Uh, you can find out the relationship between sales and total assets. You'll be able to know sales is what percent of total assets. Then you can use current asset turnover. That will give you the result that sales is what percent of current assets. Then debtors turnover, uh, uh, sales divided by average debtors. Uh, average debtors means opening debtors plus closing debtors divided by two. So you can understand that your total sales is what percent of your uh, average debtors. These uh, ratios will help you to know 
whether the company's asset management is good or bad or average. So from these two ratios, uh, from the first one, uh, you can understand their liquidity position, whether they have enough cash or not. And uh, using asset management ratio, you'll be able to understand whether their asset management is good or not.